Hi there, everybody. I am going to uh, just kind of noodle around on this lap harp and talk about it a little bit and um, puzzle over it and uh, uh, it's incredibly freeing to picks dropping them all over the place. And of course, it's the middle finger that I lost, so I gotta go get it. And I've got a second camera over here too, and uh, hopefully, it's really hard for me to use these second cameras because I can't see what I'm doing, but hopefully you'll be able to hear this okay and see it okay between the two. Um, My videos of late have been incredibly rambling, and uh, I've had to decide that uh, I'm just not going to care about that because when I ramble, then I have to edit and cut out all that rambling. And um, the editing is what's taking me so much time um, in post production, and then they don't end up getting to you, uh, if ever. Yeah, this is really interesting. The, uh, it should not be this easy. Um, this is an incredibly comfortable position to play in. I have the auto harp, I don't know if you can see it, it's not flat on my lap. It's, I've got this end of it pushed out. Now, I'm wearing a strap. The strap is going around behind my backside and it's attached here and here because this is a lap harp. And uh, one way you can tell that it's a lap harp is that it has the um, chord names on labels out here so that you can see it when you're looking down. Bye. So you can see it here. Um, and I can also see it from this angle in the normal labeling spot over here too. But I find that when I look, it trips me up. And I know that that's going to change as I get more and more used to doing this. Um, 
the buttons are in the exact same place that they were before. And I'll talk about that in a little bit. So the angles, they're right where you expect to find them when your fingers reach out or curl under to the normal places they're used to going. But when I think about it, <coughs> it um, sort of rattles me. And the, the, the strings are even the same angle under my fingers, but I'm coming from the opposite direction, from above instead of below. Uh, when I play upright, my hand is coming up from below and going to above the chord bars. Here it's coming up from above, down in. But I can play just about all of my repertoire this way instantly. It's You know what it's like? It's like climbing into a car that you're not familiar with, like a rental car. Uh, and the steering wheel is maybe a little bit more beefy or something. So it doesn't feel quite the same, but the same muscle memory that you use to drive with is still there. So I can still do everything that I need to do. Now, if this was a left-handed auto harp, and it is a quote-unquote left-handed body, it's a mirror body of what the standard auto harp is so that I don't have to cross my hands. Um, but the buttons are all laid out correctly for using with the left hand coming from the bass side of the auto harp, not the treble side, which is what they would do on a right-handed auto harp. This is a right-handed auto harp, but it's for playing lap style. So I'm gonna shut up now and play you something. See, uh... of my different take on St. Anne's Reel in compound time. St. Anne's Hornpipe. that as soon as you get the camera running, you start making mistakes. Okay, now this is the one technique that feels different enough when I do it in this position that I'm going to have to practice it to really uh, bring it back up to the level that it's at when I play it upright, and that is flat picking with the thumb. incredibly 
comfortable. And for singing, it's great because I'm totally upright. There's no kinks in my neck. There's no angles. I'm not doing anything. I'm not like extending my shoulders to reach around the harp, I'm not hunching my back, none of that. Um, nothing weird going on with my wrists. That's because I'm not doing this. If I was doing this, it would create a cock in my wrist here. Um, but by doing this, that takes that out. And because I'm moving it out and am I moving it out onto my knee? I want this strap here to stabilize it. So yeah, lap style is fantastic. But to really do it comfortably without crossing your hands, you need a harp that is set up opposite the way that you would have it set up if you were playing upright. This is not a left-handed auto harp, even though it is a left-handed body or a mirror body. Because if I was playing it this way, it would be this hand they would be coming around and doing the chord bars, and the buttons are completely reversed. Now this is Brian Bauer's layout, so if you don't know that, but see here, the G is under, well, let's go to key of C. The C is under my middle finger, but my index is hitting F, and my ring is hitting G. That's the same, but then the minors are underneath and the majors are over there and that's wrong not to mention these angles are going the wrong way they should rake downwards since my hand is coming in at a downwards angle like this from above so the ang the angles are going the wrong way but when it's down flat Now the angles are going the correct way for my fingers coming in from the bass side, not the treble side. So there's really four, four ways to set up an auto harp for upright, right-handed, upright, left-handed, down, lap style, um, right-handed, lap style, left-handed. And you need to know and you need to specify when you order. Uh, speaking of ordering, this auto harp is available. This is not mine. It's a stock instrument. We built it so people could try out a laptop harp when they came in the store. But if you end up buying it, then uh, it, uh, it won't be here and we'll have to make another one. And we'd be glad to make another one. So uh, uh, we can make one for you. Uh, let us know. This is a Cascade model, but we can do this on any of our 10 auto harp models. Soon to be 11, but we haven't revealed the 11th new model. So you can watch for that. That's kind of exciting. That's going to be coming up here soon. Um, not sure how soon, but soon and very soon. Um, and uh, so... I'm rambling, as you can tell, this is becoming a real problem, um, but I'm just gonna ramble away. So thank you for letting me ramble. Thanks for listening. I'm Hal Weeks for Stalking the Wild Auto Harp. If you want lessons, you can contact me through my website, halweeks.com, and I can help you um, learn in whatever orientation you play in. Um, and I can also help you learn wherever you are in the world because we do it through Zoom. And if you are interested in um, becoming a patron of Stalking the Wild Auto Harp, you can go over to patreon.com slash howweeks, kick in a few bucks, and uh, that will certainly help me to keep helping the public learn how to play auto harp for free. That's right. So thanks for tuning in. 
and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.